everybody. I just wanted to touch on a subject or two real fast about what's been going on recently. So for starters, I want to say that there has been another attack yet again on our economy and another attack yet again on our food supply. And I usually don't keep up with the news as much lately just because I'm just kind of tired of hearing all the stuff that's going on and I know things aren't getting any better but I figured I'd make this video so you guys could be on the same page and I also want to hear anybody's opinions on what they think about this so just the other day uh, I saw an article that the president had spent five billion more dollars on some sort of uh, vaccine research or something along those lines I'll I'll go ahead and put the article in the description but I'll also post a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about and uh, so that's five billion dollars that's not going to our debt that's not going to the betterment of our economy that's that's not going to uh, anywhere that it could be going that would be more beneficial but to something that you know supposedly has already passed and I don't even really want to get into that, but I just figured, okay, five billion more dollars, that means more inflation if you ask me. Uh, so that's one downside. To me, that's an attack on our economy, uh, just along with everything else that's been going on in terms of overspending and high inflations. And the second part of this is the attack on our food supply. So I don't know if you guys heard about that or not, but there was a explosion at a farm just the other day here in Texas and uh, apparently 18,000 dairy cows were killed in, in, in the accident. Now if you ask me, I don't believe it was an accident um, and of course I don't know every detail about the story, I wasn't there, I'm not an expert on things like this, but for there to be a, a, a farm of that size with 18,000 plus dairy cattle and for there to only be one employee on the premises already seems kind of you know fishy if you ask me and then not to mention that an explosion that big happens and the only thing that suffers is is the animals um, no humans no not, nothing else really and I was reading too that um, I know there's a lot of cows here already so we don't maybe have to worry about the the beef part of it the the uh, you know the actual meat I mean there probably be some some sort of impact whether that's you know maybe a little bit higher prices for a short while or a shortage um, because that is a lot of cattle just wiped away however these were dairy cows so again I'm not too concerned about the the meat part because there is plenty of cows here however there isn't that many dairy cows in the state and so to wipe out one-third of the dairy cows in a split second I'm I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and guess that that's going to have some sort of effect on our uh, supply chain uh, when it comes to dairy um, so that's just something that I wanted to touch on and I wanted to talk about I wanted to get some other people's opinions and if you haven't heard about this um, this video is definitely made for you so you guys could be aware of what's going on but it seems to me that through all this stuff that's been going on and through all the the nonsense policies and just crazy stuff that's been going on in the world it, it it doesn't it doesn't cease it still continues so these people are obviously um you know trying to fulfill some sort of agenda and they're going to stop at no cost and uh you know obviously it's a it's a sad tragedy of what happened but that's just part of their plan and uh, i just want you guys to be aware so uh, if you live near the state of Texas or if you know that your dairy or beef gets imported from Texas to your state, uh, to be aware that maybe you'll deal with some shortages here. Um, and then don't forget about the inflation uh, that's coming too. So it's not a surprise that gas is starting to go back up. It's not a surprise that nothing's getting better and nothing's changing because it just seems like they're digging us deeper into this hole. So anyway like i said lately i've been staying away from the news i'm just kind of burnt out from it all and uh it, it it doesn't it doesn't seem to be getting any better um i wish i could talk about more positive things uh but usually more positive things 
that have been in the news aren't really prepper related or 2A related. So anyway, I wanted to get that news out there for you guys. I want you guys to take this as a reminder again to grab the essentials. Unfortunately, dairy and meat is probably the some of the hardest preps um, to obtain easily. And so you might have to do something a little different this time, whether that's canning or freeze drying or spending a little bit extra money to get those things if you don't have the equipment or the capability. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching. I, I hope uh, to see change in our future. I hope that uh, things turn around and we can finally start to improve our, our nation and, and, you know, start to become better as a society instead of just continuing on the path that we're continuing on. It's, it's, it's pretty sickening how things have changed. But anyway, um, I do have some more content coming for you guys soon. Uh, I, I've been on and off with tons of other things that I'm worried about. Um, but content coming soon. I have uh, something pretty cool I've been wanting to show you guys, but I haven't been able to make a video on it. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later.